Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchMojo.com, and today Jennifer Cohen of No Gym Required shows us great moves that can be adapted for all fitness levels. This is a side plank where you stack your feet together, and it's really great because it works multiple body parts. It works your arm, your shoulder, and your abs. And if you just slightly tilt down downwards, even using your arm, it increases the intensity and works your obliques. You can do a few like that. And then of course, a regular plank. When you have support on both sides of your body, it's easier than just doing it on one side. And of course, you can just switch, stack your feet up again, put your arm up, and then work your obliques. Now, if this is also too difficult for you, a variation from this, if you can't, if you don't have the strength to do this, you can start by just either putting your foot in front of the other, like so, or even going down on a knee, like that. So this is a beginner, intermediate, like that, stacking one on top of the other is advanced. The squat is a king of all exercises because it really, really engages your, your glutes and your legs. And you can do this anywhere you are. If you've never done a squat before, make sure you put a chair or a bench behind you so you get the form correct. All you do is stand about a foot, foot and a half in front of your chair of choice and you sit down and then you squeeze up. Sit down, squeeze up. Now when that gets to be too easy for you, you can take a step out and just do the same movement. Make sure the weight is on your heels, not your toes, and you hold it for a second and then squeeze it up. To get your heart rate up, a great cardio burst you can do at a park, if you see a park bench, is just doing step ups like you would on regular stairs. All you do is step up and then step down. You can do 10 on your right side. You can either put your arms on your side, on, on your hips, or in front of you for extra support. And then you can just change sides to your left. Now, if you want to even increase the intensity, you can always take that step, right? But include a jump. So you go up, switch, down. Up, switch, down. So for the third version, I'm gonna use my model Lawrence to display the uh, more advanced and of course the version that lots of guys like to use. Lawrence will show you how to do an explosive jump. So make sure you see how Lawrence's feet are completely on the bench. He pauses and then he jumps back. Doing about 10 to 15 of these really get it jumps your heart rate up and it's the advanced version of the two that I showed you earlier.